My name is Anna, welcome to Fun Sock Creations. Today, I'm going to show you how you can make doll clothes using socks. I'll show you how to make two dresses, two shirts, a pair of leggings, a pair of socks, a swimsuit, and a hat. Four of these options are completely no sew, while two of them you will need to do some sewing, but it's pretty simple and basic. You'll need the following supplies. Head on over to funsockcity.com for all your sock needs, including the ones you'll need for this project. This is an 18 inch doll, and so these outfits will fit any similarly sized doll. It does not have to be the same brand. First, we're gonna start out with the no-sew dress and also the no-sew swimsuit. This will be the top of her dress right here. Depending on what direction the print goes on your sock, you could flip it this way and have the raw edges be up here but because mine has this unicorn on here, we're gonna keep it this way right here. So I'm gonna decide how long I want my dress to be, and we're gonna go with about right at her knees. Just cut it straight across, and save this, because we're gonna use this for a different outfit. And then we're going to cut little slits on the sides for her arms. And they might need to be a little bit bigger than what I did. My openings are about two inches long, and it's just a slit down the side, and it will open up nicely like that. So go ahead and slide it on from the feet. Before you get too high, make sure you put the arms in. And there is the finished dress. It is so, so easy. No so. <laughs> but it is so easy to do. Now, if you want to have this be a finished edge, you definitely can. I'm gonna leave it raw like this and it will not fray. So that's look number one. Now I'm gonna show you how to make a really simple swimsuit. We're gonna use this bottom portion of the sock and at the toe of the sock is where it's, we're going to create the openings for her legs. So we're gonna just cut one opening on this side and then do the same thing on the opposite side. And then we're also going to cut this heel out, just the heel though. Slide the doll's legs in to those holes that we created in the toe of the sock. And then her arms are gonna go through that opening that the heel created. All right, so here's the top. I think we've got a lot of extra here that we can take off. I'm gonna pay attention where I want to cut it down up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel that off and make those changes. I'm gonna create a V-neck swimsuit and I wanted it to come down to about the bottom of that donut right there. So I'm just going to cut like that and then straight back and then I'm gonna cut these and we'll make it a halter top. I just didn't wanna cut anything off that I wasn't sure if I didn't want it yet. Slide that on, pull those tight. And she's got a cute little halter top swimsuit. Perfect colors for the beach too. All right, for these socks right here, we're gonna turn it into a dress with a matching hat. So I'm going to cut it off about midsole right there. And honestly, here's the hat. And you don't have to do a single thing to it. And it is perfect, just like that. If you have socks with the heels worn out in them, this would be the perfect way to utilize the toe of that sock. So this heel part is gonna go kind of right on her bottom. So it's gonna be a shorter dress. And so leggings or tights would make this the perfect winter outfit. And then I'm gonna put the holes for her arms maybe about right here. So then this is gonna create a collared look. I'm hoping. We're just winging it here. So right here and here is where I'm gonna do the arms. Hi, I'm just hopping in to say, hit that subscribe button. Now let's try this on her that heel right on her bottom. Before you get it too far up, put those arms in. And then we've got a sweet little collar right here. So pair this with leggings and a cute little jacket and 
then add the hat and it'll be a complete outfit. Now for this one, I'm gonna show you how you can make a halter top and then also we'll make some long socks for the doll. The socks will involve sewing. You can hand sew or machine sew. Either one will work, but it will need to be sewn. But the halter top will not need to be sewn. So what we're gonna do, first things first, actually, if you want it to be 100% no sew, plug in your glue gun right now. I have my glue gun plugged in, and while that's getting warmed up, we'll make the necessary cuts that we need to on this. So all you have to do on this is just cut it across right above the heel. Now I'm going to use this part that we just cut off, the raw edge, and I'm gonna tuck that in and pull this up over the doll. Remember, this is just a shirt. So this bottom part is gonna be the waistband. And then we want it to come up high enough that it looks realistic. And then I have some ribbon that goes with this. For us to be able to get this on and off the doll, we need to have it so that we can tie it. So we need to have strings long enough, a ribbon long enough that we'll be able to tie it on the back. So I'm going to cut my ribbon about 18 inches long. And then I'm going to take this off the doll and I kept my roll in place. I'm gonna find the midpoint of this and gather it there. And keep in mind that if yours has differing edges like mine does, I want to have like the scalloped edge on the outside on both sides. So you don't want to fold it like this unless it is uniform on both sides. So I'm going to just kind of twist mine right there to create the same look on both sides. And once the glue is all warmed up, I'm taking that point right there. I'm gonna do a little glue just to hold that into place. And then I'll add glue here. And put the ribbon right on that, making sure that all the layers are getting glued. My fingers can feel it. And then you'll let that cool completely and try it on your doll. For these doll socks, I am going to get one sock from each half of this to make sure that that is side is big enough for each leg. Go ahead and just pin it straight down the middle and slide it onto the doll's leg. And it is tight, but we want it tight. And so we're gonna make these about knee high and come to about right here, not using the whole toe of the sock, just to make it look like a normal sock. So as you can see, we have enough room. So what you're gonna do, take out those pins for testing. And I'm actually going to use this center line that I can easily see as my guide for sewing. But if you can't easily see your sewing line, pin each half of the sock so that it's not gonna wiggle around while you're doing this. I'm gonna cut off the top of this sock below the heel. So you'll pin each half of the sock and then just draw a line down the center. And if you have a dark toe like me, I'm going to pin about where I want to have the doll sock end. So that's about where I'm gonna end right there. So then what you'll do is you'll sew down next to, next to your sewing line. Do not sew on it. You're gonna go on each side of it and then you'll curve down here and it doesn't, actually, looking at the doll toes, you actually don't even need to curve. You'll come down and then just come straight across. And then we'll go from there. So I'm gonna do this on my sewing machine, but if you don't have a sewing machine, you could definitely hand sew. Okay, I have everything sewn and I'm taking the pins out and cutting off these excess threads. And then you can cut right between those two lines that you sewed careful not to cut on your sewing lines. And then cut off the excess toe, then turn it right side out. And try those onto your doll. Easy, easy, and so cute. All right, and for this sock, we're gonna do something really similar to the socks that we made for the doll. Instead, we're gonna make leggings, and it's but it's the same process. And you're gonna turn it wrong side out, this time, we're gonna go up above the heel of the sock. That's gonna be on the doll's bottom. 
You want to leave like about an inch and a half or two inches above that heel and just cut straight across right there. Now, with this top of the sock right here, we're gonna make just a quick shirt, which is really similar to how we did the other dresses. You're just going to choose where to put your armholes and make sure you do them directly opposite of each other. Then just slide it on. And remember to get those arms in there before you get that too far up. And that's your finished shirt. So easy. Take about two minutes max and adorable. So to make these leggings, we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did when we made the doll socks. We're gonna test to make sure that these are wide enough to go around her legs. I already know that these are, and I already showed you that process, so I'm not gonna show you again. And also this time, we're also going to use the whole toe of the sock. Now roll the doll over. It's gonna be on her bottom right there. So we're going to stop sewing the vertical separation about one inch below that heel line. So you wanna make sure you have everything really evenly placed. I'm going to pin everything so that it doesn't wiggle around while I'm sewing. What I'll do is I'll sew on each line right here, each side of this center line, and then come around and sew across right here. So that way when we cut this down the middle, it's sewn closed already. So go ahead and do that sewing by hand or on your sewing machine. Remove your pins that you were using to hold everything into place. Then go ahead and cut just right down the middle of your sewing lines. Be careful not to go all the way across that horizontal line. And then turn everything right side out. Now let's try it on the doll. <laughs> Definitely think I should have gone higher. She's got some penguin pants. Low riders. I think I should have gone pretty much up to the heel. Let's see if I can try that again. On this retry, I did the exact same process, but instead I just came up a lot higher and I sewed this in white. If I were wanting this to last well for a really long time, I would sew it in a dark color that went well with this. But I wanted you to be able to see how high up I came. I came almost nearly to where that heel line is. Hopefully this actually works. <laughs> So same process as last time. I'm not gonna bore you with all those details. And here's the moment of truth. Those fit so much nicer and she'll be able to walk normally. And honestly, these socks, I'll link them below, would really make great leggings. They're a nice neutral color. They would go really well with lots of different things. Aren't those just so easy? I love them. Make sure and check out this video that YouTube thinks you'll like. Also, here's a video that I think you'll like because you watched this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that yet. And watch for a video in just a couple of weeks where I show how to make Barbie clothes also using socks. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.